Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to the first Unreal Engine game development tutorial here at Code Viper. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic main menu setup for your game and I'll be covering the entire process from start to finish so in case you're a beginner you won't be left out because of assumed knowledge. Now just really quick before we dive in I want to show you the end result of what we're going to create. So if I click this play button up here our menu will open up and if I click the play button you'll see that we're transported into our 3D world here and I'm going to click escape and if I click the play button again it will open up the main menu and if I click the options button we'll be transported into our options menu X out and if I click play again and click the quit button you'll see that it quits our game alright this shouldn't take long so let's dive in and create it Alright, so the first thing we'll do is open up the Epic Games Launcher. And inside of here, we'll launch Unreal Engine 4. We're now done with the Game Launcher, so let's exit out of that. And let's create a new project. So we'll select the third person template, and we'll call this Main Menu Tutorial. Create Project. Now inside of here we'll select the content folder and we're going to create two folders here. So select add new, new folder and we'll call this levels. And we'll create a new folder and we'll call this UI. Now let's go inside of the third person BP folder and inside of the maps folder and we'll select this and control C to copy and we'll head back to the content folder and into the levels folder and control V to paste it. We'll now hit F2 to rename it and we'll call this world. Now let's select add new level and we'll call this level main menu and select save all, save selected and back to the content folder and into the UI folder and right click scroll down to user interface and select widget blueprint and we'll call this main menu. Right click user interface widget blueprint and we'll call this options. Click save all, save selected. Now let's open up our main menu widget blueprint and maximize that. Now inside of here, we'll design our main menu. So up here at search palette, we're going to create a horizontal box. Grab that, pull it into the canvas panel down here. And let's select this horizontal box and size it to about the full width of the widget here. And that's about right. And then let's create some text pull that down into the horizontal box select that text and we'll set this to fill horizontally align center and vertically align bottom now we'll set the font size to 60 and we'll make this say main menu now over here let's create another horizontal box drag that into the canvas panel and we'll also create a vertical box drag that under the horizontal box we just created and then we need to select the vertical box right click wrap with size box and then select the size box and under child layout select width override and set this to 750 and let's set the size to fill and the horizontal alignment to center so we now have this box right in the middle and then let's create a button drag that under the vertical box and we'll grab some text, drag that under the button. Let's increase the font size to 40 and let's set the padding to 15. Now let's select the button and under the padding hit that drop down arrow and we'll set the padding top to 25. Let's now select that button, control C to copy and select the vertical box and we'll hit control V twice to create two more of those buttons. Now the first button Let's rename it to play button. The second button will be options button. And the third button will be quit button. Now let's set the text values. We'll have this say play exclamation mark. This will say options. And this will say quit. All right, compile and save. Minimize that. And let's open up the options widget blueprint and head back over to our main menu and select this canvas panel. Hit control C to copy 
and back at the options let's delete this canvas panel select options and control V to paste let's change this text to options instead of main menu and then delete these three buttons and let's just grab some text drag it down here under the vertical box we'll set this to align center and we'll say game options here compile and save now under the content folder under levels alright we'll now open up the main menu level and we'll select blueprints open level blueprint and then we'll right click get player controller drag off of that create widget connect here to the event begin play select our main menu and drag off of that and say add to viewport so what this basically does is that when the level is loaded this event will trigger and will create the main menu widget and then add it to our viewport which is basically the player's screen and then let's drag off of here and say set show mouse cursor drag it over here connect this uh, set it to true so we'll show the mouse when the men main menu is loaded drag off of here and say set input mode game UI only sorry and then the target will be the player controller and the in widget to focus will be the widget we just created so compile and control s to save now minimize that and open up the world level and select blueprints open level blueprint and inside of here let's create event begin play right click get player controller set show mouse cursor connect this and we'll set that to false we'll leave it false and then drag off here and say set input mode game only and the target is the player controller compile and save now let's go to the main menu and select the play button scroll down here to on click so this event will trigger when the button is clicked drag off of that and type open level and the name of our level is world and we'll add a comment around that press C and we'll say play button clicked and then back to the designer select the options button scroll down on a clicked and drag off of here and say remove from parent this removes the uh, main menu from the screen right click get player controller drag off of that create widget connect here tidy this up and we'll select the options widget and then drag off of here and say add to viewport so this adds the options menu to the user's screen so let's add a comment around this and the shortcut for adding a comment is just hitting C on your keyboard and we'll say options button clicked and back to the designer select the quit button on clicked drag off of here and quit game and the specific player is get player controller alright now let's put a comment around here and say quit button clicked compile and save and double click on the main menu now beside this play button select the drop down arrow here and select new editor window so we've opened up our game here and if we click play we can see that we're transferred into the third person game here we can run around and let's click escape and play again and if we click the options button we're transferred to our um, options menu here and X out and click play again and if we hit this quit button we can see that our game quits now just a quick pointer before we finish if I click play here it looks fine but if I resize it you can see here that it sticks and that looks uh, really ugly so let's X out and go under the UI folder and open up our main menu and the problem here is that these two horizontal boxes are both um, anchored to the top left 
So let's fix that by selecting the horizontal box and under anchors, select center. And let's do that for the second one. Anchors, center, compile and save. And let's do the same for our options menu. So select the horizontal box, anchor, center. And this final box here, anchor, center. Compile and save. Now if we play, and we resize this window, we can see here that it stays nice and centered, which is exactly what we want. All right, that wraps up this tutorial. If you enjoyed the videos, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I've got new content coming out every week, uh, lots of Unreal Engine tutorials on the way. We're gonna dive into some really cool stuff. So subscribe if you wanna stay updated on that. This is Code Viper, and until next time.